Here's Leon and Rivervale on the fan. Leon, what's on your mind? My radio. Hello? Um, I think you might have cursed it. I'm not sure. I dumped it just in case. Leon, you are on the radio. Can you record? I'm not finding it. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Hello? Hi. Hi. Um, AT&T, may I help you? It's in Newark. Hi. I just want to tell you, yeah. just to add to this conversation. Which conversation are you talking about? The one in Newark? About the garden t-shirt. Yes. You so, tell me all right. what would have happened if he was wearing, you know, I hate Trump or Black Lives Matter or some political statement. Probably on nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Why? I think, what do you think would have happened? It would have been even a bigger thing. I don't believe so, sir. Because it's, it's freedom of speech. No, it's not. You can't go somewhere wearing a T-shirt and somebody says, take that off. Yeah, you can. If it's in Yankee Stadium? You can. In... Every place that you walk into that's not a public facility, the owner of that particular place has the right to decide what the rules are when you come in to their place well, other than right. other than ha- you know stopping you to- from coming in based on race, religion, creed, that kind of stuff. No. You're what wrong. happens if you came in there and you got punched in the face by a guard and security guard or yeah. you got a uh, spit on or something like that? Yeah. It's the same freaking thing. No, it's not. Come on. It is. Uh, with all due respect, sir, and I ask this without I'm not trying to, you know, be shocking. But are you stupid? <laughs> Don't call me stupid. I didn't. I asked if Come you on, were stupid. Fan. Like, you just you compared me walking into the garden being punched in the face to me walking into the garden wearing a T-shirt. Like, come on. The point I'm trying to make, you have certain rights. You have rights. No, you don't. Nah, Liam. Like, what part Ah. of that don't you understand, sir? You don't have inalienable rights in every building. What what happens if he had a a, a, a impeached Trump on his shirt? He would be, he'd probably be left alone. But what happens if Dolan asked him to leave because he's pro-Trump? You would I, ask him to leave the building. I don't believe it's that that would take thing. place, nor has it ever taken place to my knowledge. But he would have, if he thought the speech itself was offensive, I can't see how Look, a pro Trump would be, be that. Leon, there are going to be things that you can't wear on a shirt. Come I'm on, not man. sure politically right. if it's going to be enforced, but you can't have a hateful saying on your shirt. I think no, you'd agree, Chris. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, no, and Dolan has the right. There's nine words you can't say. No, we know the words. That's number one. That's a law. I Okay. It is not a law. Come on. If you want to go out in the street and say any one of those nine words, you have the freedom of speech to say those words. When you walk into a building or a enterprise or business that is privately owned, you no longer have that God-given right to say no, anything you want. Not, you- you have rights no matter where you go. You have you some rights. A, you, you don't have the right of free attorney, speech in my house. On, on this matter. What's because that? You're wrong. You're wrong, you, sir. You don't lose your rights because you go into any type of building. Yes, you do. Look at what happened to the Clippers. What happened to the Clippers? That he has to sell a team. Okay, and? <laughs> because he said something. Well, it's a hold back. That's a bad example. Yes, it is. <laughs> I like how you recognize that. All right. That, let's agree that you know, that was a bad example. That's a good job, Leon. Strike one. We'll let you move what? on to strike two. Go ahead. If I want to go out in the middle of the street right now and yell, fire, am I allowed to do that? No. <laughs> yes, because I am. You're putting, you're putting people in danger. If you're in the theater oh, and God. cry fire, yeah. you're going to be arrested. What if there is a fire? <laughs> well, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, you I love you. I love you. Put, I, I love you. Craig, I love I you. We'll talk again for sure, but I know. you're killing I know. brain cells that I can't <laughs> afford to lose right, right now. <laughs> and it's like, the there are times it's okay. like, I know it's not your fault, Leon, but there are times it's like talking literally to the wall <laughs> next to me. And that's very frustrating for me. And change the subject. There's Why? no way... They'll approve Daniel Snyder to own 100% of the <laughs> I race. didn't go there. He already got approval. Yeah. Did He's it? just buying out I the did, remaining I... 40% of the Washington football yeah, team. Yeah, it already happened. We're, so we're now you're over for two. Happened. 
all yeah. the crap that happened in the front office, yes. they're approving that? Yes. That's hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy, and it's connected to this. The founding fathers of the NFL were degenerate Jeez. gamblers, right? I know. So when they there fought, were a lot more. when they fought the concept of legalized gambling, which they did for twenty five years, were they being hypocritical? Yes. No. No. <laughs> wow. You Look, shouldn't have changed the subject, Leon. Uh, Leon, what are you eating night. for dinner tonight? <laughs> I'm let having, me guess. Uh, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. I'm having some sort of fish dish. Fish dish. These are all connected. How many cats you do you own? Can't just cut, you can't cut somebody's rights off. You're not. They're not cutting someone's you rights can't. off. Uh, you know what? How about this? this? Have, How about this? this when you when, when you go to this They're fish when you lawyers. listen listen dummy when you right. go to this fish restaurant tonight <laughs> and it right. says on the uh, on the door I'm you know, take out. I don't want to get COVID. You're not. A, uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How many cats I'm do you own? I'm going to go back to the Clippers. How many cats do you own? <laughs> Don't go back to the Clippers. How I, many? I own, I own one cat. I, I used it. to own three. I knew it. 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 Sometimes I just know things. There was no Don't doubt in my mind cats. that you are one of those guys who just lives alone with cats. And no, Greg, I will I, not accept a, the and, cat yeah. ridicule that you are throwing on yeah. Leon and many other men like Mike Baseglia, yeah. a friend of mine who's yeah. listening right now. Yeah. I will not let you besmirch the name of cat owners. Your cat thinks you're the smartest guy in the world. I know it. Be honest. What? How much what? peanut butter do you have in your pantry? Uh, three jars. I knew it. Smooth. I knew it. Smooth, no doubt, because the cat doesn't like the lumps. I know. Like, you're so wrong here. You can't. What have I been wrong get, about? You're a cat owner that lives Jesus. alone and has three jars of smooth peanut butter in his pantry. <laughs> Frankly, I don't think I've ever been more right. Why do you have three jars? Well, Molly might be hungry tonight and daddy's not going to. Well, never mind. <laughs> I don't like you besmirching the cat owner, though, Craig. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I think it's Ugh. wrong. I this? think it's wrong and it's misinformed. New York legislators reached here to legalize marijuana. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> there you go. Great. Now you can go to a dispensary, get some weed, give your cat the peanut butter she desires, <laughs> and never leave your apartment. <laughs> but I respect Cat owners that. are all the same no, when you no, get right no, down no, to no, it. No, 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 no. I was a yeah, cat owner. I was, no, no surprise. And what did I do that yeah. was so wrong? You found a woman, you got rid of your cat. That's <laughs> not true entirely, <laughs> all right? Once you peel away the layers, you're all the same. Lonely, unhappy people. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, yeah, Carton. My cat's like my family. See, what do this, you know? This phone call with Leon is another great example of something I said about you earlier. You have this uncanny ability to be so right and so wrong all at the same time. Was I right about Leon? You were right to a point. Who, by the way, <laughs> did anyone else see that coming? I'm the only one in America that would have seen that coming. Has a cat and three jars of peanut butter. <laughs> that is not a coincidence. Let me something. Nor, by the way, are those mutually exclusive events. When, when you asked him, how many cats do you own? I sat here and did a very quick prayer. You hope. And I said, don't. Please say none. Yeah. Just don't. I don't, I I don't need this. I used three, but now I have one. Yeah, it was the worst answer. Yeah. The other two are buried behind my condo. <laughs> Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Damn there was it. no doubt. Damn it. Yeah. You're all the same when you're We're not the all the same. We're a yeah. lot. We're very unique, but, all of us. But, like you said yourself, Evan. Yes. Once you found a woman to actually go out with you in public, you got rid of your cat. That is not that true. That is not a coincidence. She lived with us for a <laughs> yeah. while, and ultimately, yeah. she was very allergic. Yeah. Your wife decided I'm was... allergic to the cat because I'm not dating a loser who lives with a cat. Come on. I like your wife more and more every day. <laughs>